Hey guys, Science Bob here. You know how I'm always showing wild science experiments to other hosts, like Jimmy Kimmel, or Mark Rober, but Mark's away from Crunch Labs for a week. So today, I'm the host, and I'm gonna do my own giant science experiment just the way I want, because he's not around to guard the supply closet. This experiment will have everything. Explosions, fat Gus riding a train, and a mega build of an iconic Crunch Labs build box toy, the Catapult Launcher. Now, if you're not familiar with the Catapult build box, they use a trigger to take the potential energy of these rubber bands and turn them into kinetic or moving projectile motions. They launch these adorable foam balls into the air, which then land onto another catapult, launching another ball and creating a chain reaction. A hundred times. How hard can that be? And everybody wants to see how many they can trigger, from build box subscribers yes. to Mr. Beast. Oh! <laughs> but I'm gonna be the first one to try to make it to a hundred. Okay. One. One. Two. One. Two, one, two, three, four. Great, I've worked all morning, and the most I've been able to get is five. And that means I've got 95 more of these to do. And the mega builds. I'm gonna need reinforcements. Wait a minute. At Crunch Labs, whenever Mark needs help, he just snaps his finger and the perfect person appears. Mark Powers work. I guess my powers need some fine tuning. Ah, oh, it is you! Come on in, guys! But I did get just who I needed. These three subscribers had all created and posted tons of Crunch Lab build box tricks and hacks all around the chain reaction catapult. They knew how to keep trying when it didn't go perfectly, because pushing through failure is what it means to think like an engineer. And they were all fans of Crunch Labs, which meant before we got to work... You guys want a quick tour? Yeah! yeah. It was time for a little bit of fun. Is this like... The actual one from the video? That is the actual one from the video. Natural. So I explained to them I had just a few days to surprise Mark with an epic build box video. I need ideas. What do you think? And luckily, they did not disappoint. Fat Gus going down on like a zip line. Fat Gus zip line. Each time the catapult gets like bigger. I like that. Flamethrower. <laughs> oh, you want explosions. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We'll use this room to prototype everything. Once we get some good stuff, we'll start setting it up. All right, get out of here, go find stuff. They rushed to grab everything they needed and carried around their supplies just the way I taught them. <laughs> they practiced making chain reactions with their regular sized catapults. But knowing that the mega build would have to shoot even farther, they got a little advice from our chief product designer, Mason. How far do you think that that can go? How many rubber bands does this catapult have? One. One? How many catapults do we actually ship in the box? Three. Okay, so can you think of a way to maybe like make one catapult a little bit stronger? Put, put like, all three. All three. <laughs> We were running out of time, but once we felt that everything was set up and ready to trigger, we were ready for a certain somebody to return to Crunch Labs. Mark! Who I had forgotten to tell to expect visitors. I'm warning you, I'm armed! Wow! But Mark can't stay mad when it comes to good engineering, especially when the engineers had been practicing their best Mark Rober intro voice. This is the Mega Catapult Obstacle Course, and it's the biggest one Crunch Labs has ever done, ever. Like I'm looking in a mirror. <laughs> wow. Charlie, you still look very nervous that I'm holding this. Are you nervous? I might, I don't know. Like no. set something off? Don't do that. There. There's something that could go off. Should I put this down? Yes. I'm not going to, just in case. They showed Mark some of what he was in store for, so he'd take it a little more seriously. Slime's gonna put weight on here that's gonna shoot the tripwire. Tripwire, classic. Baseball, calm down. Onto my dismantled bike, by the way. <laughs> we got a billiard ball that'll be triggered into the Nerf balls. Whoa, yeah. oh, sorry, my bad. Mark! Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, what's happening here? We'd have to scale the catapults up each what? time to get the ball bigger. So then we've got the mega one that'll be triggered, go into the mega build box, and fire off 16 confetti cannons. Wow. But that was enough talking about it. It was finally time to see if this experiment was worth the 10 hours it took to set up. So now we gotta start it, right? Yeah. Where's the start? <laughs> Here we go! Okay, this is good, this is good. 
good. Yes. All right, I got yeah. it. It's about, it's about oh, it's working. Yeah, 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 Whoa. yeah. All right. Yep, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, here it goes. Yes. I can't believe this is working. Tell them the rules. Oh, yeah, that's right. The rule where visitors clean up. Get to work, guys. That rule. Oh. All right. Seriously. 